Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti. I'm the Narc's nemesis. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one session, my link is in the description. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, my link is also in the description. My new single, Superstition, y'all, make sure y'all go check that out. It's about my narcissistic experience. It is about me overcoming my narcissistic experience, and it features a voicemail of my ex-narc trying to hoover me, and I ain't going for it. The performance video is also available here on the channel. The song is available here on the channel and, and on all streaming platforms, so y'all go make sure y'all check that out. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what y'all think. I know y'all looking at my hair and my beard. Mind your business. I'm going to the barbershop later. But anyway, today I want to talk to y'all about these people prayed for you. They prayed for somebody like you. And they lost. I try to tell people like when you're a child of God, when you're an empath, when you're a genuinely good person, um, and nine times out of 10, a lot of us are that have dealt with the narcissist. These people prayed for somebody, believe it or not, because remember they live in delusion. Everything's everybody fault and they've been treated wrong and they've been damaged and you know, they've been getting the short end of the stick and they've been hurt and lied to and cheated on whatever. A lot of them live in this delusion, so everything's everybody else's fault. Um, so they're under the assumption that, you know, why can't I just meet the right person? Or God, if you just send me the right person, if you just send me this person so I can be with and so I can love and that can love me and care about me, and he listens. And he sends them the gift of you. I'm going to say that again. He listens to them. And I'm going to tell you how much confidence and how much faith and how much value God has in you. He knows that you're so powerful, even if you don't. He knows that you're so powerful, that you're so trendsetting, that you're so, you have so much love inside of you. He knows that you're so influential. He knows that you're so, um, so prolific that only you has the potential power to show this jackass what love really is what being with somebody really is, what somebody having their back really is. You have so much love inside of you that you can possibly get them to change their heart, even if it's for a fucking small second. Or you can at least put in their memory for the rest of their life. If I don't know what true love is or true compassion or companionship is because I've never experienced it before. It had to be what this person showed me or what they were trying to show me because you got to realize, man, how many people or how many of these people have never experienced somebody genuinely caring about them. Some of us haven't experienced somebody genuinely caring about us, which is why a lot of times we're so full of love that we don't get back because we're reflecting outward what we need inward. We give all this love and we give all of this uh, attention, this praise and this admiration to other people because that's what we want. And we end up giving it to them and they reflect, they don't reflect it back to us. We're full of that love. We're full of that compassion. We're full of that. And God knows this. 
Like they say, he gives his strongest battles to his strongest soldiers. He has so much faith in you that he feels this child here will have the biggest impact on that devil. This earth angel of mine is strong enough to live in that devil's head rent free until the day they die. He has so much faith in you spiritually that he knows your spirit is powerful enough to leave a mark in this person's mind that's more that's stronger than any evil that's stronger than any uh entity that they're filled with they've prayed for you case in point my ex narc had a, a list of shit on her refrigerator that she wanted in life uh, some of it was charity business have kids uh, and other shit but i remember specifically on that list, number nine was true love. I kid you not. True love was number nine on that list. And for somebody to sit and make a list and put that on there, you want that. Which means if it's amongst those things and you're any kind of praying person, you've prayed about that. Lord, please send me somebody to love me and care about me unconditionally and love me for all my flaws and, um, you know, help me see the things that I can't see. Help me grow. Help me to, um, you know, somebody that has my back, somebody that's there for me. They've prayed for that. No matter what kind of bullshit they act or whatever, like I said, they're in delusion because they don't feel like they're wrong. So they, they're praying for what they feel like they're not getting, even though they might have got this from somebody and just wasn't able to see it. They prayed for you. Like I said, I read that list. Number nine, I'll never forget it. True love. And they had to ask God for that. And guess what? When they asked God, guess what the answer was? You. You were that answer. You came into their life and you shown them all them other people that you were dealing with were wrong. The ways that you treated those other people were wrong. But when people get close, when people are full of those bad spirits and bad energy or they don't know how to, when people aren't used to something, they sabotage it. It's like, okay, when you give a, when you buy a kid those, uh, those new shoes for school and you know, you know, you as a parent, you told them, Hey, take your shoes, take your school shoes off, put your outside shoes 